Hello and welcome. So my name is Michael and in this video I want to do another book review. This time I'm going to do a book review on the Psychedelic Explorer's Guide. I'm just going to make sure that's the right title. Yeah, the Psychedelic Explorer's Guide by James Fadman, PhD. So this book really discusses therapeutic applications or therapeutic ways to view taking psychedelics and psychoactive substances. This to me was a completely breath of fresh air in this uh, space of uh, psychedelics and drug use and all this sorts of stuff and, and even therapy, psychotherapy, uh, psychology, things like that. Personally, I grew up taking, you know, I was exposed to LSD in the 90s when I was 16 years old. I got heavily into the rave scene, soon moved into more of the psychedelic music scene, uh, went to <clears throat> years and years of what we call DUFs in Australia, which are psychedelic trance parties, <clears throat> you know, take, you know, surrounded by a psychedelic culture, basically, psychoactives were everywhere, um, as well as other drugs and, and stimulants and all sorts of things. And over the years, you know, I found a lot of benefit, but over the years I started to move away from it simply because I found that <clears throat> I wasn't fully, there was another way to take these substances rather than going partying or socializing. There was something more to taking these substances. And so I found myself backing away from them many, many years ago. Um, but when I read this book, I actually got re-inspired because this book really gives a formula, if you like. <clears throat> a way of understanding the structure of how to structure a psychedelic experience for a, in a therapeutic way, basically. So it was music to my ears and you know, it even breaks down things like the first few hours, this is a good idea to do this, the next few hours you go into this stage, the next few hours you go into this stage, the next few hours you go into this stage. And basically laid out this whole thing of how to do it, what's best to get the most from it, you know, what to do pre-experience as far as like setting intentions, what to do post-experience as far as journaling or processing, and even giving timelines of like distances between things from a psychotherapeutic aspect, you know, how long does it take for people to integrate information? Uh, with psychedelics and stuff like that. So basically when I read this I realized that there's a much better way to engage with these substances and I really recommend personally that if anyone's looking to take psychoactives is to for a, in a, for a therapeutic purpose which is basically what's going to happen whether you choose it or not <clears throat> is that we become educated using a book like this first to give us a context. The book creates a safety context in order to understand and how to take psychedelics in a way that's healthy and supportive. And so I can't this yeah, I can't promote this book enough. I would say at the moment I know around the world, in especially in the last five, ten years, there's been a huge interest in psychoactive, psychedelic substances. Um, but my concern, my feeling is that many people aren't aware of what context to take them in. And so, yeah, so this book offers that. And so I would highly recommend it, anyone interested in psychoactives and psychedelics to check out this book first um, and then start, you know, experimenting and using the processes outlined in the book to get the most from your experiences. And, you know, one of the other things I'll mention here as well is that relationships, especially intimate relationships, can really benefit massively through therapeutic applications of psychedelics. And so this is a space, if you're struggling in your relationships, uh, you know, your girlfriend or your wife or your husband or whatever it may be, and you've tried many other things, then I would say it's probably a good idea to, to consider psychoactives. Um, 
using a therapeutic context. And from my personal experience, this stuff changes, it's a game changer. And like one experience in this nice therapeutic setting could take years and years and years and years of other processes. So that's my final little hurrah for this book. Check it out, The Psychedelic Explorer's Guide for anyone interested in that space, how to do it healthy. And if you want, to want more reviews like this, then please leave a comment below. Feel free to subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.